going to be a lot of uh, setup on your own. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're going. We're starting. Uh, we have uh, MM720, mm -hmm. which is playing the Fox against the uh, um, Ganon, uh, mm -hmm. which is Toa. So we see like, is there a rule for openings? Like, do you have? Apparently, to... no. Okay. Oh. You okay. Can... So we can. You're gonna see some really fancy openings, like with the jabs, or with the back air so far. Yep. Uh, you, you, we, we saw some, uh, some you know, double jab back here. He's, he's just going with this. So sometimes you want to, you want. It, it's like it's like volleyball. Sometimes you want to, you know, think about your opening, maybe set it up. And sometimes you just want to put it out so the the opponent doesn't really have time to like, you know, re, um, yeah. think about what's going to happen next. Uh, so what I mean, I think it's, uh, I'd say it's a pretty uh, classic uh, match, and and that's it. So he started using the cannon punch. Yeah. So, you played Lethal League, you know that it's all yeah. about angles. Definitely. And once you know the angles, even a really, really fast hit, uh, you, 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 can, you can get it back, you can yeah. punch it back. So, uh, right now, what Fox has to see is where does the Ganon Punch mm -hmm. go uh, exactly, or where the up tilt go, uh, right like this, mm -hmm. on, the, on his stage. And uh, always be there with a with a nair or an up tilt or whatever ready. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, whatever ready uh, when when he's gonna try that that, mm -hmm. that opening. Yeah, I feel like heavy heaters have like an amazing opening games with smashes, up tilts, or or even warlock punch and stuff like that. But I like the um, the setups Fox can do. Like we saw the jabs, jabs into back air. We saw the little sneaky up tilts and stuff like that, just to show that the ball can curve and we can do like some soft hits, just to to show you that you have to move to the net or just sometimes go really far away. Um, I like I think like that's something heavy hitters can't really do. They can't be really subtle with their trajectory of the ball, yes. which can be like a downside sometimes. Yeah, um, like I think Ganon, what he can do is he can. <laughs> you know, he used the soft part uh, of his uh, of his reverse up air, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. To try to do um, uh, him. How do you how do you say that? Uh, you know, in a, like in, in tennis, when you in English, when you uh, but no, oh. not a serve. Uh, wh when you do a really like low ball that goes just over the net. Yeah. When yeah, you like, you know, in, in yeah. French, it's like amorci, right? Amorti, yeah. Uh, I, I, guess, I guess we've got from Chase a, a, a chip, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, there's gonna be a lot of characters who can do that, and that's really, that's mm -hmm. really tricky. Uh, but I think like what we're seeing for the moment is, re is really like classic volleyball, uh, which yeah, is just like we're, fin me. we're filling it out. Uh, mm -hmm. There's not like insane uh, ball passes or whatever. It's no. not Ooh. extremely long, but it's it's what you're gonna see when you when you play volleyball uh, when you play volleyball at home. And uh, that's what you can expect from from volleyball. And as you can see, that that ball that's right there, that's a trophy. Um, mm -hmm. It's just a, a different a trophy with a different, uh, you know, gravity. Uh, but it's really fun what I've been able to do. It looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look jank at all. I was afraid yeah. of that. Like the trajectory of the ball might feel jank or weird sometimes, but it's actually like your the ball the eyes. <laughs> it's really weird to say, but the ball is like the eyes. Like you, you, you're you're used to Diang when you play Smash, and you can react to what the, the trajectory of the ball is. So it's not too hard to to predict where it's gonna go. And yeah. so far the 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 exchanges have been a bit more intense. We can see some like counter hits with a Fox bring out full jump nair just above the net to prevent uh, Ganon from throwing out the back air. Uh, we've seen some better exchanges, longer exchanges. But we've seen always the same hits, like jabs up air and back air from Ganon and back air from Frog. We tried to do the really, uh, I'm gonna call it a chip, even though it might not be that, but the really, <laughs> the, the the really soft uh, up air. And mm -hmm. we saw uh, Fox starting to counteract the the, the Ganon punch, um, yeah. the Warlock punch. Mm -hmm. he, he actually used that now, that really lingering the as you call it, the sex kick hitbox um, in, in fighting games to to counter it. And he, and he he saw where it was gonna go, so now he shouldn't have too much issues. Uh, trying to counter that. Yeah. Uh, there's still the up tilt, which is also really, really fast, but has a consistent uh, trajectory. And the Fox is up two points, as you can see on the board. Um, mm -hmm. the, the number at the very top 
is actually the counter for how many hits, uh, how many exchanges they've done. Oh, sick. That was uh, not in the vanilla version, right? No, it, it, oh, it, okay. it, it, they, they updated it at some point. And um, there is also, it's best of threes now. Mm -hmm. so as you can see, uh, it's best of five, sorry. So there's already two points for the Fox, mm -hmm. uh, for MM720. Um, and oh, unfortunately, the up smashes are going to be, they can be really useful if you know what to do after, but they can yeah. be uh, quite dangerous if you don't know how to, to react. Uh, but now, really, uh, if, if uh, M720 wins this one, uh, it's going to be game. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried that. So unfortunately, I don't think that up smash was the greatest idea, because yeah. even if he got it, uh, I feel like he would have just come back straight onto his stage. Yeah. And he wouldn't have been able to, to react. Yeah, it's not um, just sending the ball just right above your head. You need to be ready to have another hit coming after it. Otherwise, exactly. they're going to be screwed. And, and so this set is actually going really, really close. We've got 2-2. Two, two, uh, Ganon against uh, Fox. Mm -hmm. And, oh, okay. Uh, we've got a bit of a, of a brain fart from, uh, from Fox, <laughs> fortunately. It goes really fast and it's very different from what we're used to seeing in classic melee. So sometimes you're going to see some flubs, which is fine. Yeah, it's part of the process. Too, uh, and it's like... You're playing against yourself, basically, and against a ball that you can't really control as much as you want. Exactly. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff you need to be aware of. Like, if I do that hit, is is it gonna be? Is it gonna send the ball over the net, or is it gonna send just before the net? So do I need to be ready to dash? Is he mm -hmm. gonna counter? There's so much stuff going on. Even I don't want to say there's even more stuff than in vanilla melee going on, but you have this ball that always needs to be in your sight of eye otherwise it's gonna be really tough for you yeah uh it's 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 very different but the the, the fact that melee is so deep makes it that a game such as volleyball is also extremely deep because of how many hitboxes how many trajectories you can mm -hmm. um you can create uh, so it's actually really really close cool. had a bit of a lag there unfortunately for them but the up tilt not bad because uh, you can quickly uh, react with a back air, soft back air. Oh, unfortunately, and that's gonna be it. Yep. Uh, Twelve to eight or nine for um, for Tao, mm -hmm. and uh, three to two for Tao. So that's gonna be yeah. it. This is a you know single limb. So unfortunately, MM so in twenty.